everyone, first again, um, looking today another bit of a sort of random airsoft video looking at this time one of my uh, one of my AEGs that's probably probably my most heavily sort of customised one, one that's had the most uh, worked into it I suppose. Um, as you can tell, it's a little proud of the venture I'm looking. Um, it actually started off as a, a King Arm AK74M. Um, now, I think, as you can see, it's changed quite a lot from the uh, standard AK setup. Um, go have a quick look through the parts. Um, basically, my idea behind this was that I wanted to build something, take an AK, as off AK, something standard looking, and just change it as much as I possibly could. Make it totally different through M4 parts and party cam and all sorts of random modern stuff on it, just really to be something, I'd say, just really different to the norm. Um, so I'm working with the pack. The stock is a, as you see, a cream style sort of uh, LMT type of uh, just the stock. And um, this one's in my die tack. It's uh, been water printed in multicam. It's got a nice uh, rubber butt pad on it and it's comfortable to use. It doesn't actually store a battery. So uh, battery storage wise, what I've got is just inside there, I've got a uh, 800 milliamp simple four volt micro in the uh, buffer tube. Uh, the buffer tube itself is a King Arms one, it's um, designed to take lipos. As for fitting it to the gun, what I've done here is this, this particular plastic section here is a King Arms um, AK to M4 stock adapter. Basically what it does is, if you've got a full stock AK, take the stock off, fit this little thing, I had to root the wiring through it into the buffer tube and then it gives you QD sling points both sides. So, uh, for example, I've got a one-point sling, I've got a little, little key sling hook. Pops right into there, easy as that. Nice little uh, addition. And it is very solid. So, you know, once the stock does work quite well. The receiver itself is all the top cover, that's all the standard AK stuff. Uh, pistol grip is a King Arms saw style one, quite comfortable to use, I find. The selector I've switched out for the King Arms. Um, they call it a tactical selector. Basically what this does is the normal AK one you have to reach over there with your left hand and push the selector with your thumb. What this gives you is the ability to just use your trigger finger there and just switch from safe auto semi. It's quite, quite tough on this particular one but it does work. As you can see there it's a lot easier and faster than trying to reach over the top. On the other side of the weapon I've mounted a, uh, what I've done is sort of, I had to file a few of the fake rivets off um, and fasten the paint, etc. It took a little bit of a while, but I've put on an LCT side rail, which uh, I do have a, a mount that gives me a, a little bit of 20, standard 20mm rail that sits just above there and it's attached to the side rail. The magazine release here, you can see it's got an extra wide sort of button to make it a bit more ergonomic. King Arms, I think call it a tactical AK mag catch, something like that. Magazines themselves are going for the Beta Project slash Micro PTS clear plastic. You can see the spring through there, which is handy. It lets you know how many BBs you've got left. So it's under there. They're very, very good magazines. 140 round mid cap. I've put some uh, Ranger bullets on there. Makes it a bit easier to get out of your pouches. And the bolt, fake bolt cover, which is standard fake. That do anything. Moving forward a bit more, now the front end, this was the bit that took a fair bit of work to basically attach. This is a um, an M4 barrel and rim. So to, in order to attach those, basically taking out the standard training block that just sits inside of there. And it's a action, it's the brand, and they make a little thing called a um, AK to M4 front end RAS adapter they, they call it. Basically what it gives you is instead of the AK front end part it gives you just another deep red A little bit windy today. <laughs> yeah. You've got your standard um, a circular screw thread. So what you can do is attach barrel nuts and all rail town guards, free, free boat rails and all the standard M4 EG parts. So let's say the barrels that are there. On that this rail itself, this is an um, element 12 inch investigate free floating rail. The barrel is a DITAC 14.5 inch 
any sort of style out of battle. Not a Voltor style, probably difficult to see what there's a Voltor style fake gas block just in there with a fake gas tube. I've put on a couple of Magpul rail covers, just a replica EOTech 551 dot site. Um, the vertical grip is again by Ditac, it's hydro dipped in multicam, gives you a nice comfortable grip, sort of thumb brake grip as they call it. Flash hider on the end there is a Troy style made by, I think it's made by D-Boys, screws on no problem, looks quite obviously airsoft, not the point but it looks quite vicious. So yeah, why not? Um, and that is that. I've not really changed much on the inside, the inner barrel is the standard AK barrel length. Um, just your standard AK 47 barrel length so it sits in the barrel stops just about there on the 14.5 inch M4 barrel. Uh, shooting about 330 FPS. It's got quite a nice rate of fire. Standard AK hop unit still in there. Um, obviously there is a bit of a lack of a front iron sight. I could put a rail mounted one on there but it, it wouldn't actually work with the standard AK one on there. So I've gone with the, uh, the audio tech. It's fun, it's not something you see too often. People go, oh, what's that? Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a laugh, it's not one of my serious skirmishing AGs. I've not actually skirmished it yet, I will do, just for the fun of it. Heck, why not? Something, as I say, something different. And uh, yeah, it's something a bit of an unusual. So we'll finish up, we'll do a bit of a uh, bit of shooting, I think. The problem is with this mag catch is sometimes the magazines don't quit, sit quite high enough and you have to grip them at the front. Um, easy to fix. Uh, that is the, the uh, AR-47 as, as I call it, or the AK-15 if you want to go with. Um, hope you enjoy watching guys. Uh, if you want more of the same, hit the old subscribe button and uh, I'll see you next time.